Hello and welcome back to Introduction to Computer Science at SSFS. In the next few videos we're going to talk about graphical user interfaces. Graphical user interfaces or GUIs or GUIs as they're sometimes pronounced are what most people expect to use when they open up a computer program. Up until now we've been doing a lot of text-based programs where the user has to type in something and everything is words. Well this time we're actually going to start making a graphical user interface with things like buttons and entry fields and labels, things that you're used to when you uh, use a computer. The way Python uses GUIs is they use a module called tkinter. So before we actually dive in and start creating our, our graphical user interface, the first and most important step is to actually plan out what it's going to look like. And for our example, we are going to create a very simple tip calculator that's going to take the cost of a meal add on a tip, and then divide by the number of users so that everyone pays the exact same amount equally. And I'm sure there's a lot of other ways to do this, but this will be a simple example just to kind of get the idea of how to lay out a basic interface. So again, the first thing we're going to do is actually some planning. We're going to design how it looks like. So I've done a very quick sketch in uh, Google Drawing just to show what my concept is going to look like. And throughout this, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i throw out the disclaimer that I am not a graphic designer, a graphic artist, so what I design may not be as nice as something that you may be able to do. So I know that in my tip calculator, I want to have a kind of a title up top here. I want a place for someone to input the cost of the meal. I've chosen to implement a slider for the tip, so by sliding this back and forth, you can increase or decrease the amount of tip. And then you can check or use a what are called radio buttons to select the number of diners. And again, only one of these can be active at a time. And then once I click the calculate tip button, the total per person will be displayed in this field right here. So again, this is just one way to implement a tip calculator. There are lots and lots of others. Uh, but let's go ahead and start building that in Python. So I'm going to go back to PyCharm and I'm going to create a new Python file, and I'll call it uh, GUI, actually let me do it, tip GUI.py. Alright, I'm going to erase this because we'll put some comments later. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the tkinter module. You've seen this a hundred times before, importing math, importing turtle, importing random. I'm going to import the module that has all the tkinter functions. functions. And there are just a few lines that we need to create a very, very basic window. And the first is root equals tkinter.tk. And what that line does, this creates a main frame or a root window. I didn't have to call it root. I could have called it main frame or main window. But a lot of times you'll see it um, as root, as sort of the root window. And then the last thing I can do is I can put root dot main loop. And what that does, that essentially runs the tkinter program. And it's the main loop that detects things like mouse clicks and clicks and drags. And so that's the final line we, we need. So this is a complete tkinter program. We can go ahead and run this. So let's go ahead and run tip GUI. And we'll see that we've actually created a very, very basic looking window and not very exciting. So one thing I can do to make it a little better is I can give that window a title. So if I do root dot title, uh, I'll call it tip calculator. Now if I run that, you can see that the title of my window is tip calculator. And again, this is what people are used to, the title of whatever it is is up in the window title bar. So again, this is the structure of a very, very basic TK inter window. In the next video, we're going to talk about adding widgets. Widgets are things like buttons and labels and all the things that people are used to when interacting with graphical user interfaces.